fell off more than Fetty Wap. I swear. He has a clipboard. He has a clipboard and a megaphone. That's crazy, bro. And today we got a reaction that is most definitely not getting monetized. <laughs> Members reacting to life sentences. Not getting monetized. No. It's yeah. Yeah. So um I'm just posting this one for the love of the game. Because there's no way. Let's just get straight into this it. Cake. Let me ask you. But was sentenced to life in prison. Holy, how do you get chopped that bad? Oh my gosh. Bro, being white with a with a chopped haircut, shit, it, it, it has to be physically impossible. Because you're telling me if I could go to supercuts, I would be happy. Because like there's supercuts everywhere. You're telling me you can go get a haircut as easily as you can get a McDonald's McChicken and you still have this? That is crazy, bro. No excuse. No excuse. Cause African Americans, I was about to say the N-word, I'm not supposed to be cursing. I gotta, bro, I gotta go on Yelp. I gotta go on Bootsy. I gotta talk to him. I gotta explain exactly what I want. It's like a whole thing. You could go to Supercuts and be like, let me get a number five. And you still have this, man. But you won't believe why. Welcome back, Charlie here. Yeah, I'm, yeah, this video's getting cooked. This video's getting cooked. The Ku Klux Klan, or KKK, was founded as a hate group in the USA. The group was most active in the 19... You know what's crazy? They fell off. Like, they really fell off, because this... This looks scary. This looks scary. But if I see... If I see a KKK member now, if I see someone dressed like this, like, by himself, I'm, I'm on that. Uh, I can't curse. It, it's not fun. I'm on that butt. That don't even sound right. Not cursing so lame, bro. 20. Fell off more than Fetty Wap, I swear. But you may be surprised to learn there are still- Like, bro, this- Like, bro, look at the aura, bro. Look at the aura, bro. Look at the aura. Look at the aura change, bro. Look at this, right? You gotta look. Klux Going Klan, from this- or KKK was founded as a hate group in the USA. Bro, they got shields. They got the flags. The group was most active in the 19. They got the torches. The 20s. But you- he has a clipboard. He has a clipboard and a megaphone. That's crazy, bro. That's a crazy fall off, bro. I'm not gonna lie. What is what is in that clipboard? Maybe surprised to. You can say KKK con. Like, bro. There are still thousands of men. Ah, beat this. <laughs> what? What? I'll drop this, nigga, bro. Members of this evil group. Today we'll look at times K. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. He look like the dad from Coward Courage the Cowardly Dog, bro. There's no way. There's no way him in a ghost costume is intimidating me, bro. There's no way. KKK members were sent I haven't cursed. I've been bleeping myself. Sentenced to life behind bars. And their wild reactions in Yo, does um does not hitting a woman rule go away if she's a KKK member? Genuinely curious. Yes. Yeah. Okay the courtroom. First, we have to look at Edgar Ray Killen. Edgar Ray Killen was a prominent KK he was a white K member. In 1964, he planned the murder of three people. Andrew G oh, this is going to make me upset. Okay. Goodman, Michael Schwerner, and James Cheney had their lives ended. Wait, why do you go for the three victims? Victims were civil okay. rights activists. Oh. They were participating in the Freedom Summer of 1964. This was a big civil rights protest in Mississippi. The three men had just visited the victims of the burning of a black church. But that's when a KKK member who worked for the police arrested Shocker. the men. The police said they were speeding, but there was no proof. After the men were released from jail, their car was tailed by the KKK. The KKK then forced their car off the road and then shot the three activists inside, sadly ending their lives. Rest the men were found 44 days later buried in a dam. Shockingly at the time, the state of Mississippi refused to prosecute any of the men responsible. But in 1967, 18 men were arrested for the incident. Yo, 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 cursing off, cursing off. Look at this nigga, bro. Yo, look at this nigga's eyes. Oh my God. Yo, yo, yo. You know they had his holes cut mad close, bro. His jaws was like this. His jaws was like this, bro. No, nah, wait, wait. I'm lying. I'm lying. His jaws was like. His holes were like right here, bro. He was walking around. 
<laughs> he said he can see the nigga behind you. Oh my god, bro. He oh my gosh, bro. Holy. Yo, yo finna be on their most wanted list. Hey, he could look at two lists at the same time, bro. That is insane. This included the KKK leaders. He worried about the wrong type of separation, bro. You trying to separate white from black while you're while you looking you looking like these. That's crazy. Sam Bowers. Looking like a chameleon. No wonder you care. No wonder you care so much about color, boy. As well as the sheriff and also Edgar Ray Killen. Most of the men involved were sent to prison, except Edgar Ray Killen. He somehow got away with the crime, or so he thought. <laughs> Some man gonna confuse a black man for his shadow, swear. Thought. But many years later, a reporter named Jerry Mitchell was investigating the incident. He found new witnesses. Oh, cursing back on. I turned it off. Since. And found new evidence that Edgar Ray Killen was involved. Wow, Prodigy, I forgot to look at your picture. That's actually crazy. Dang, 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 hold up, hold up. I kind of do want to see what you look like. Bro. Hidden? Should it be in my hidden? Hold up. Prodigy, you DM me? I do not see it, bro. Yo, Prodigy, DM me so I can see it. All right, I'm going to continue the reaction. I'm going to remember. Check me out. Watch, watch, but DM me. Including the fact that he planned these killings. In 2005, at age 80, Killen was arrested once again. This man is separating the colors with the whites with his eyes. The case went to court. He's gonna forget? Come on, Ari! He was found guilty for the crimes and was sentenced to 60 years in prison. Given that he was 80 at the time, this of course meant a life sentence. Done. Edgar Ray Killen passed away in 2018 while behind bars. It's a shame justice was only served 40 years after the crime. Yeah, he already lived a full life. But although late, at least justice was served. Next, we have to look at Sean Berry, Lawrence Brewer, and John King. In 1998, these three men ended the life of James Bird Jr. This took place in Jasper. This video is gonna make me upset. This video is gonna make me upset, bro. Oh, fuck. Texas. The three men offered to give James a ride, but instead of taking James home, the men took him to a remote road. They then assaulted James and dragged him behind a Ford pickup truck for three miles. Sadly, James would later pass away from the injuries. The men then left James's body in front of a black church. James was found the next morning. There was no surveillance cameras or any witnesses. So how were these evil men caught? Well, it was basically down to their own stupidity. Near the area where the killing took place, police found a wrench with the word Berry written on it, obviously okay. belonging to Sean Berry. Police putting your name on the murder weapon is crazy work, bro. It's also found a lighter with the word Possum on it. Possum was John King's prison nickname. Two? Two? One? Okay. One? Okay. All of y'all are stupid? All of you are dumb? Lawrence Brewer and John King were well-known white supremacists, making it very obvious this was a hate crime. King even had several very hateful tattoos on his body, including the logo of a hate group named the Confederate Knights of America. A judge found Sean, Lawrence, and John all guilty for James's murder. The Confederate Knights of America would not do this stuff in a current hood, bro. I swear. I swear they wouldn't, bro. In 2011, Lawrence Brewer was executed by injection. And in 2019, John King met the same fate. Sean Barry was sentenced to life in prison, but could be out as early as 2038. Next, let's look at Kayla Norton and Jose. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? You chose. You chose to put that goofy... Oh my god, I hate not cursing, bro. What do I say instead of the A word, bro? That goofy looking? It's so lame. You chose to put that pillowcase over your head, bro. You chose to do that. Do not cry. Hey, Torres. Kayla and Jose were both members of a hate group named Respect. Being, bro, being a KKK member with the name Jose is crazy to me, bro. The flag. They were sentenced for an evil attack on an eight-year-old boy's birthday party. Oh my god, this is gonna make me, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, it's gonna make me mad, it's gonna make me mad, it's gonna make me mad. Party in Georgia. They said various racial obscenities. They also- I remember this! 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 So threatened to use firearms. And also waved confederate flags. All while- I remember heaven. this! This took place in July 2015. Only Edward one month- 7X cheered. X100. 
All I gotta say is this ish don't happen in Baltimore. I seen what happens to racist in my city. Boy, I'm telling you, bro, they fell off, bro. Let someone, bro, in South Carolina, the thing is, everyone had Confederate flags when I grew up, bro. Everyone, everyone. Like, girls had it on their phone cases. Teachers had it on mugs. I seen it on hats. I seen it on trucks in the parking lot. I seen it on houses. It's, bro, it was everywhere. Let that happened let me get bro bro they lucky i wasn't big bro bro i wish after someone ended nine lives in this happened this happened in south carolina this literally happened in south carolina bro I, yeah dylan roof yeah that was south carolina in a black church okay bro it happened in charleston south carolina it happened where i was from it was a church downtown i remember this and Jose also threatened various black drivers. A judge later declared respect the flag as a street gang. In the courtroom, Kayla Norton cried and apologized. I don't care. I don't care. Cry in a cell. Guys to the victim's families. I would never walk up to you and say those words to you. I know. That's why you were in a truck. Dummy. How are you sorry it happened to me? You did it! Jose Torres was also seen crying. In the end, Jose Torres- Your name is- Alright, bro. was sentenced to 13 years in- Your name is Jose Torres. Bro, you're on the wrong team. In prison. Kayla Norton was given six years in prison for her part. They were also both banned from entering Douglas County ever again. Next, we have to look at Jeremy Christian. In May 2017, Jeremy was on a train in Portland, Oregon. That's when he had a massive freakout. He started making very racial remarks and threatening many passengers on the train. Taliesin Namkari Mesh and Micah David Cole Fletcher stepped in. They told Jeremy to calm down and stop making hateful remarks but that's when jeremy pulled out a knife i remember this too both i remember this too i remember this too men along with another passenger named ricky best micah thankfully survived but taliesin and ricky sadly both passed away jeremy christian then ran away he was soon arrested and went to trial the surviving victim, Micah, said that he has nightmares every night, just proving the lasting effects of Jeremy's evil crimes. In the end, Jeremy was given two life sentences plus 51 years, with zero chance of parole. Yo, Meaning what this is on his dome? What is on his dome, bro? Dangerous and hateful man will never be released from behind bars. That's probably a good thing, seeing as he had a major freakout in court. And it's the type of dude that can get off on good good behavior, bro. Just, just crazy. Bro, his cut looked like Pangea, bro. No, I mean his cut looked like Earth post Pangea, bro. It's crazy. This is insane. This is nasty work, bro. His head looked like the bottom of a shoe, bro. Holy. Oh my god, what a what a loser. Oh my God, bro. He began shouting at one of the victims and even threatened to end her life, eventually having to be removed from the courtroom. Next, we have to look at Russell Courtier. Stop crying, stop crying, stop crying. This crime also took place in Portland, Oregon. One day, Russell Courtier was arguing with Larnell Bruce <coughs> Jr. outside a 7-Eleven, but things escalated rapidly. Russell Courtier got into his Jeep and ran over Larnell. Why'd you say Jeep and show a BMW? Escalated rapidly. Russell Courtier got into his I'm paying attention to her. I'm paying attention to her. My, my fault. His Jeep and ran over Larnell Bruce Jr., sadly ending his life. But why would Russell Courtier do this? Well, it turns out he was part of a hateful prison gang named European Kindred. He had oh the group's God, logo on his bro. hat as well as a tattoo on his. Bro, you do not look like them. Look at you. Look at you. Look at them. Look at you. You are you are not on the team. You fat. Cursing off, you fat fuck.
cursing back on. His leg. His hat was found at the crime scene and CCTV also caught the whole thing on camera. He was arrested and taken to court. His girlfriend, Colleen Hunt, was also arrested. That's because it was her car that he used, and she was cheering him on inside of the car. Russell Courtier received life imprisonment. Next, we have to look at Charles Newcomb, David Moran, and Thomas Driver. These three KKK members plotted to take some- Why is- why am I looking at a Hispanic KKK member though? Like, I don't- I don't understand that, bro. ...month's life. The three men were- Like, bro, 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 you are an essay, bro. What are we- what are you doing? What do you- you look like George Lopez. Like, what are you doing? A Florida prison. Right, and guards, and had planned to end the life of someone who used to be an in- Bro, the only pointy hat you should be putting on is a sombrero, my dude. Like, what are we ...made at the prison where they worked. Thankfully, the plot was foiled by the FBI. They wanted to end the life of a man named Warren Williams. This was over a fight one of the men- George Zimmerman was Latino. I forgot about that. He was. ...and had with Warren. They planned to use insulin to take his life, and then dump him in a lake to make it look like he drowned. The FBI was able to save Warren Williams' life. Oh, they did this God. by infiltrating the KKK and finding out their plot to end Warren's life. Oh, the men God, are now bro. in the same prison where they used to work. Only this time, they're not guards, but inmates. Finally, let's look at Harry Rogers. Harry Rogers was the president of the Virginia KKK. In 2021, he was sentenced to five years in prison. This was for driving his truck through a crowd of protesters. The protesters had gathered to protest the killing of George Floyd. That's when Harry Rogers drove his truck into many people. Thankfully, no one passed away, but there were- You know what? You know what? I remember this too. I remember this too. ...were various injuries. He pleaded guilty to three counts of assault, one count of destruction of property, and one count of hit and run. Footage later emerged of Harry at clan member meetings, showing that what he did was by no means a mistake. Although he was sentenced to five years, is, some said that wasn't enough. That's Hell because no. if Harry was driving his truck any faster, people could have easily lost their lives. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment down below which of these criminals was the most heinous. If you want to see my short videos, check out my second channel. I've been Hey bro, W video, W video. Once again, once again, this is not getting monetized. I this is not getting monitored. This this was uploaded for the love of the game. So I hope you guys appreciate this reaction. I'm not I'm not editing this. Cause I'm already knowing it's not getting monetized. I'm not editing this. I'm just posting this one. So hey man, hope you guys liked it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.